Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will talk about solving word problems involving right triangle. And this is the part two of our video with regards to this topic. Kasi last time, meron na tayong upload the part one ito, wherein we solve right triangles using the Pythagorean theorem and the concept of special right triangles. So yung link ng ating part 1 ay lalagay ko sa ating description box para if ever na gusto niyong pag-aralan ay makita niyo agad ito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here a problem. The dimension of a rectangle are 90 centimeters and 50 centimeters. So find the measure of the angle made by the diagonal and the shorter side. By the way guys, ang pinaka-target natin dito ngayon in solving um, word problems with regards to right triangle is gagamit natin yung trigonometric ratios para masolve natin yung parts na hinahanap. So again, we will use the concept of trigonometric ratios. So sabi dito, the dimension of a rectangle, ibig sabihin, yung involved sa ating figure ay rectangle. So I have here a drawing of a rectangle para mas mabilis yung ating discussion. Sabi dito, the dimensions are 90 centimeters and 50 centimeters. Since this one is a rectangle, we know that this is your 90 centimeters and this is your 50 centimeters. And aside from that, yung kanyang opposite sides are congruent. Therefore, this one is also 90 centimeters. So how about the other side? This one is, all, this one is also 50 centimeters because they are congruent. Now, the problem natin dito is to find the measure of the angle made by the diagonal and the shorter side. So, kailangan natin mag-draw ng diagonal. So, pwedeng pa ganito, pero ako, I will draw this kind of diagonal. Mula dito, papunta dito. And I hope na maging straight siya. So, hindi siya straight. So, I fail. Kita natin. Mag-draw ng diagonal. Okay, yan. Kanyara yan yung diagonal natin, di ba? Napaka-straight. So, ang sabi dito, find the measure of the angle made by the diagonal and the shorter side. So, ito yung shorter side natin, and this is your diagonal. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pinapahanap na angle. Again, angle made by the diagonal and the shorter side, which is yung 50 centimeters natin. So, ito yung pinapahanap sa atin ngayon. So, as you can see, this one is a rectangle, at alam naman natin na lahat ng angles nito ay Right, right? Angle. Yan. Yeah. Ito na yung right angle din to. So, ma pwede nyo ma-imagine dito ngayon yung right triangle. So, meron tayo ngayon dito right triangle where in kapag in-extract natin siya, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So, extract natin. Ito yung magiging itsura niya. Yeah. Okay. And extract natin siya. This is your 90 centimeters and this is your 50 centimeters. So, kung makikita nyo, meron tayo nga yung um, right triangle. Tapos yung angle na pinapahanap sa atin ay nandito. Okay? So, sir, paano ngayon natin i-integrate yung concept of the six trigonometric ratios? So, pansinin nyo mabuti ah. Uh, this angle, ang, may, ang, given, ang given sides natin ay ito, yung 90 centimeters and 50 centimeters. So, yung 90 centimeters natin is opposite to your angle and yung 50 centimeters natin is adjacent to, to the angle. So, isipin mo ngayon, anong trigonometric ratios ang merong opposite and adjacent? And definitely, you will think of the tangent. So, we will have here tangent and gawin natin tong tangent, ano na lang, theta. Okay? So tangent theta, yung angle theta natin na yung pinapanap is equal to the opposite over the adjacent side. Okay? Ngayon, yung ating opposite side is 90 centimeters. So you have 90 over your, hypo your adjacent which is 50. So we have here tangent theta. And yung iba, ang ginagawa nila rito, since meron silang scientific calculator, ang ginagawa nila is that um, 
pinipindot na nila agad sa kanilang scientific calculator. Ang second, ano, shift, shift, tangent. Kailangan na ma makuha niyo yung, ano, tangent raised to negative 1. Okay? Para makuha niyo yun, uh, shift, tangent nila, or second function, tangent. Makuha niyo yun. Pero sa atin, ipapakita ko sa inyo na i-divide muna natin yung 90 sa ka-50 using our calculator. Pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator nyo para mas maging mabilis yung pagiging, ay yung pagkakalculate nyo ng mga bagay-bagay. Okay? So, we have here 90 divided by 50. Again, 90 divided by 50. So, ang gawin mo ngayon dito is that you have yung kanilang quotient kapag dinivide nyo yung 90 by 50 that is 1.5. Okay, so you have here tangent theta is equal to 1.8. At para, para makuha mo si um, theta, okay, theta, i-press mo ngayon, again, press, shift, again, shift, tangent. Ako kasi ginagamit kong calculator ngayon sa, na scientific ay naka-install sa aking iPad. So I have here shift, tangent, para makuha mo again yung tangent raised to negative 1. Shift, tangent, and then press 1.8. Okay? So, ang lalabas ngayon sa akin dito is 60.9453959092. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon dito, i-round off ko siya into one decimal place na lang. So, ang ating theta ngayon is 60.9 degrees. Ayan yung value ng angle natin. This is theta. Dito natin na guys, this is 60. 0.9 degrees. Ayan yung uh, measurement ng angle na, na nabuo between the diagonal and the shorter side of the given rectangle. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another example wherein ma-play natin yung trigonometric ratio in solving right triangle. Let us solve item number 2 for this video. It says here, one of the sides of an isosceles triangle is 20.1 centimeters and the vertex angle is 68 degrees. Find the length of the base of the triangle. So this one is an isosceles triangle. So we can say that this side is congruent to this side. Kasi ang isang isosceles triangle, it has two equal sides. And ang measurement ng sides na, side na to is 20.1 centimeters. If this is 20.1, ibig sabihin na ito 20.1 din centimeters because they are congruent. The legs are congruent. At ang pinapahanap sa atin ngayon is find the length of the base of the triangle. Ito mismo. Yung side sa ilalim. So, we will represent this side as x. Now, another given na pwede natin magamit is that the vertex angle is 68. Yung vertex angle natin is opposite to your base angle. This is your 68 degrees. Ngayon, sir, ang tanong, how can we solve this kind of triangle? So, first thing you need to do is to draw an altitude. And this altitude is perpendicular to your, ba to your base. Perpendicular siya. And aside from that, pag na-draw ka ng altitude, it bisect your vertex angle. So, if this is 68, this is 34 degrees. And this one is also 34 degrees. Okay? So ngayon, ano, sir, ano yung magiging effect nito if this is 34 degrees and this is 34 degrees? Ibig sabihin yan, yung opposite sides nila ay congruent. This, this segment is congruent to this segment. Itong segment ito is congruent to this segment because their opposite angles are congruent. So if we extract this right triangle, may right triangle tayo dyan. We can extract it. Ito yung ating drawing. Okay. So, medyo okay. Yeah. This is your right triangle. And kapag extract natin siya, your hypotenuse is 20.1 centimeters. Ito yan. Tapos yung kanyang acute angle is 34 degrees. And ang, pinapa, ang hahanapin natin ngayon kung bakit ito extract ay itong side na to. Gawin natin y because kapag nahanap natin to makukuha natin yung base natin. So try natin ha. So 
with regards with respect to this 34 degree angle or acute angle you have the opposite and the hypotenuse again you have the opposite and the hypotenuse at isipin mo ngayon ano yung sa sine cosine and tangent ang merong uh, part na opposite and hypotenuse and definitely that is your sine so we will use sine 34 degrees is equal to the, your opposite which is y over your hypotenuse which is 20.1 centimeters so i suggest again gumamit kayo ng calculator para mas maging mabilis ang inyong pag -usaw. so ang una kong gagawin dito is i will cross multiply we have here invisible one so one times y that will give you the product of y okay y and your ating sine 34 degrees at 20.1 centimeters, sabihin mo na rito, 20.1 centimeters times sine 34 degrees. So you can directly press it to your calculator or scientific calculator. I-press mo lang is sine 34 degrees. Press mo lang. Sine 34 degrees and then times 20.1 and that will give you 11.23977359767 in which i-round off natin siya into one decimal place para pareha siya ng, ng given part ng ating uh, isosceles triangle so that is y is equal to 11.23 2 centimeters. Tandaan na, yung nakuha natin value ng y ay hindi pa ito. Because yung y natin is kalahati lang ng base natin. So para makuha natin yung ating base na x, we can create, we can create an equation like 2y is equal to x. Kailangan natin multiply yung y natin by x. So that is simply 2 times 11.2 centimeters is equal to x. So multiply natin. 11.2 times 2 and that will give you x is equal to 22.4 centimeters. So ito ngayon, ang haba niya is 22.4 centimeters. Ayun ngayon yung haba ng base or ng side ng nawawala sa ating given isosceles triangle. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung ating lecture video in solving word problems involving right triangle. And ang naging focus natin ngayon ay yung paggamit ng trigonometric ratio. So kung meron kang requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free na ilagay mo sa ating comment section para mabasa ko ito. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.